Lake Karapiro on New Zealand's North Island offers the perfect conditions for a sport in which Kiwi athletes have enjoyed considerable success over recent years. Mahe Drysdale has been at the forefront of New Zealand rowing for a while now. The 37-year-old has won two Olympic and eight World Championship medals. Transworld Sport first crossed paths with Mahe back in 2007. The single scholar took up the sport while studying at the University of Auckland. Nine years on, and he has his eyes set on more glory at the Rio Olympics. You can still get better, uh, and I'm still getting better at, at 37 years old, so that's, that helps. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty good uh, around the squad. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of young talent, and it's fantastic to be there every day. At, you know, every morning you, you're getting out of bed and, and going down and, um, you know, pushing yourself to the limit, and, and, you know, you've always got that competition. Mahe won the first of his five world titles in 2005, despite having broken two vertebrae in a crash with a water skier earlier that year. In 2008, he was chosen as New Zealand's sole representative in the men's single skulls at the Beijing Olympics. He came through a rigorous national selection process for the Games, which saw him pitted against the man who had inspired him to take up rowing, Rob Waddell. You know, I was a, a three-time world champion and, and very focused on the Olympics. And, you know, last minute, you know, six weeks before our national trials, I was told that the spot was up for grabs and, you know, whoever won, won a series out of me and Rob was, was going to go to the Olympics. And, uh, you know, that was, that was incredibly hard to, to take mentally. Mahe won a best of three race trial set by the New Zealand Rowing Committee. The competition between Mahe and Rob Waddell, who'd won gold in the event at the Sydney Olympics, made headline news in their country. The series went to a deciding race. Drysdale's coach, Richard Tonks, was always confident that Mahe's mental strength would see him through. He has good mental skills. That's why he's a world champion. All world champions have a good mental skills of concentration and ability to push themselves, obviously got the right genes, he's determined to do well. Everybody can train hard but then you've got that last 10% upstairs that's very important. With the selectors satisfied that he was the right man for the job, Mahe found himself in the final at the Beijing Olympics. But he soon had another obstacle in his way. You know, I, I got sick early in the week and I knew that I still had, you know, five or six days to recover and, um, you know, unfortunately it just, just wasn't, I wasn't recovering. Um, and, you know, I realised, you know, that, that uh, you know, I guess the first thing is you sort of like, you know, why is this happening to me? And, um, you know, mentally I think I got over that pretty quickly. Um, you know, I realised that no matter what, you had to go out and perform your best and uh, you know that's this was what sport was all about um, you know performing in a given time on a given day no matter what happened and uh, you know I, I performed it the best that I could you know on that day and um, you know had I not been sick well maybe it would have been different but you know that's something that you can't control. Despite illness and dehydration Mahe still managed to secure a bronze medal. After the disappointment of Beijing, Mahi quickly set his sights on the 2012 London Olympics. In the lead up to the Games, he overcame yet more injury and won another world title. That triumph in Slovenia saw him go into the London Olympics as favourite for gold. It's been a great ride. It's been, I guess it certainly hasn't been boring. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of obstacles that have, have been placed in my way. And, uh, you know, I guess in, in hindsight, it's good to look back and, and realize that you've managed to overcome a lot of those to, to be where I am. And, you know, that makes it a very satisfying. 
um, but you know, in, in some ways, I guess as well was you know some of them you wish hadn't been thrown in your way. Um, but you know, that's that's also part of of the learning. Mahé was imperious in London and claimed gold. Going into the race, I was feeling terrible. Um, you know, I just had so many nerves. Uh, you know, I'd never really been nervous, but I knew how much this one moment meant to my career. And for me, without an Olympic gold medal, um, you know, no matter what I'd achieved, you know, that was the, the one thing that I hadn't achieved and that was, was going to be a failure if, if I didn't get that in my career. Well, the, the first feeling as I crossed that line was just pure relief. And, you know, that was very, very quickly followed by elation and you know it was it was a pretty special moment to know that you know all that that sacrifice all that work uh, that you've put in has has finally paid off and and you finally got the the goal that that you've uh, you know always been been dreaming of and, and achieved your dreams after winning Olympic gold Mahe took a year out from serious rowing and was able to focus on something that had taken a rather large back seat over the years, a personal life. In 2013, he married fellow Kiwi Olympic rower Juliet Haig, and the couple welcomed daughter Bronte into the world a year later. Mahe returned to the boat in 2014. Today, his life is still geared around his sport, but he now has a welcome escape from the water. I think coming home and, and you know, it's one of the, the things about having a child is, has been uh, you know, really cool. You, you come home and um, you know, you've, you've got her to, to come back to and uh, you know, she's, she's completely oblivious to what you've been doing and um, you know, who you are and uh, you know, that's, that's really nice. You, you just got something else to, to focus on and, and get stuck into and um, you know, I, I guess when I come home I've, I've always got things, you know, the dogs, um, you know, my wife Juliet, and it's really nice just to, to you know, come home and and be in the moment, I guess. And uh, you know, you can you can whether you've had a good or bad row, you can you know tell Juliet or you know talk about it. She's an ex rower, so she understands. And and then you can switch off and um, you know think about the the everyday things of uh, you know eating and um, enjoying each other's company. Mahe's aim is to successfully defend his Olympic crown in Rio this year, and his coach is confident. It's the old story, we just want to go faster every, every stroke. For the same amount of effort, we want to go a little faster and we want to move the boat a little further. If we can just improve, say, even a quarter of an inch per stroke in a race, it's a, that would be huge. So it's, it's all about trying to just make the boat move better. You get better, you get a better performance, more efficiency. You know, his, at his age, his level of fitness perhaps is not going to increase. Well, it's not going to be a huge increase. So you just want that efficiency to be able to do it easier and move better. So just trying to make the stroke and the technical things just a little bit better. Preparations for Rio have been going well. However, at the last two World Championships, Mahe has been beaten to gold by his great rival, Andrei Sinek of the Czech Republic. It's, it's gone very well, apart from a couple of, of races. Um, you know, one of them, unfortunately, was the, the World Champs final, um, you know, where, where it was you know, 0.3 of a second um, you know, between first and second. But you know, in saying that, that's, that certainly um, you know, puts me right in the ballpark where I wanted to be. Obviously, I would have liked the gold medal more than the silver, but um, you know, I think it, it's I'm very much on track and, and uh, you know, tracking in, in the right direction to, to where I want to be going into Rio. Come August, Mahe Drysdale will be hoping for a little less drama in his pursuit of another Olympic gold. <laughs>